Hello again, filmmakers and cinematographers. Ryan Constantino here with Upper State Entertainment. And today I wanna to share with you how I made this video for my friends over at Cookies and More. So this is actually something I've never done by myself before, but I knew that I wanted to try it. A friend of mine owns a business called Cookies and More, and he bakes and sells delicious cookies amongst other things. And um, I told him that I wanted to hook him up with a commercial. And the first thing that popped into my head was a slow motion, cookies flying through the air type of, uh, you know, breakbeat, jazz, drum, solo kind of a commercial. So once I came up with the concept, I had to figure out how I was going to, you know, launch these things in the air. So I went to my marker board and kind of sketched out a rough idea of what I thought it might take to, you know, spring load some uh, delicious treats into the air. After having came up with the idea of what this contraption might look like in my head, I took a trip down to the local Home Depot and picked up a few supplies. I figured all it would take would be, you know, a couple of pieces of wood and some springs and various screws and stuff like that. After I picked that stuff up, I brought it home and went to work. Right, so after I got this thing put together, I uh, set up my camera and I decided to shoot on a white screen background. So I took two 650 tungsten film gear lights and shined them directly onto the background. I ended up shooting this entire thing at 120 frames per second using a 240th of a second shutter speed. And uh, that causes things to be pretty dark because the amount of time the shutter is open is not very long. So I took those 650 film gear uh, tungsten lights and put them pretty close to the background and shot on a white background. And then I had a key light, which was a 1K RE open face tungsten unit. And I had this uh, large piece of diffusion in front of it to kind of fill the entire area. And then I put the cookie launcher right in the middle of all that and had some fun launching some cookies in the air. And of course, things ended up being a little tricky uh, to be able to run everything at the same time, you know, make sure it's in focus and uh, make sure that uh, the cookie gets launched up into the frame. Yeah, it was a challenge running back and forth and, you know, hitting record and then launching a cookie in there real quick, but uh, it turned out to be a lot of fun. Of course, it's kind of tough to do all of that, you know, just by myself. So you can see some of the cookies aren't really in focus, but, uh, you know, that's to be expected since I'm just running it, you know, as an experiment. I set my zoom lens to 45 millimeters, which, um, you know, on the GH5S, has a like 2x crop field of view equivalent. So, you know, I was kind of shooting at like 90 millimeters in order to get close up to these, to the action of the cookies. And that in turn caused the depth of field to be rather shallow. I'm shooting about T3.2 and overexposing the background to get like a solid white color. And of course I ended up like throwing cookies in the air just like manually in order to just get like a bunch of tosses in the air real quick and uh, get like a bunch of footage and try to edit later. After launching some cookies, I decided I wanted to get some milk in the mix too. So I ended up taking a little serving dish and just kind of gaff taping it to that piece of wood and pouring milk and throwing a cookie in real quick so it doesn't get too soggy and then just pulling down, launching it into the air and kind of just see what happens. 
And then in the middle of the commercial, I did that kind of thing where the cookie breaks itself open. You can see chocolate, melted chocolate in between. Um, I accomplished that by actually using a hot glue gun and popsicle sticks. And uh, what I did was I actually broke the cookie in half and then used the glue gun to glue the popsicle sticks to the back of the cookie. And uh, for prosperity, I decided to throw it in the freezer just to make sure that it stayed together. And uh, after cooling off in the freezer for a little bit, I threw it onto two tripods and used some plastic clamps to kind of rotate them out a little bit. And in order to get that melted chocolate look in between the cookie, I took a few chocolate chips and then just kind of stuck them in there and then used a heat gun to heat them up and get them nice and soft and then hit record real quick and then just kind of broke it apart. And luckily I got you know, one or two takes that were, uh, were really good. And you could kind of see that chocolatey goodness coming out. And then of course, after shooting it, I came back in After Effects and then rotoscoped the edges of the cookie. So it would just be there floating by itself. You know, overall, it was a really interesting experience. I, I feel like I have a lot more respect for, you know, the full-time food cinematographers out there now, of course, because, you know, it, it's not easy. In order to get everything, you know, lit correctly and looking really nice and pretty and have, a, I think most importantly, having repeatability is, you know, something that's really important when you're on, you know, a video shoot. And uh, that's actually one of the reasons why they use uh, lots of really strange ingredients in order to, you know, maximize the longevity of the product, like on camera under all of these hot lights. And I can see why it takes an entire studio space in order to shoot something like this. I had my entire kitchen, you know, turned upside down uh, using every square inch of it to make this huge mess where there's like cookies and milk everywhere. But at the end of the day, I had a lot of fun and I gained a lot of experience from it. And uh, maybe this is something that you could try in order to expand your filmmaking or cinematography skills. Hopefully this video has inspired you a little bit to get out there and make a slow motion food commercial of your own. Okay, well that wraps up today's video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe and like and all that jazz. And until next time, thanks for watching.